What's up everybody, Steven here from Tech Maker Studio. This is a quick Tech Maker tip. I'm here inside of the test for an NFT project that I'm building. Um, and I wanted to find out how much gas I'm using uh, to actually mint an NFT. So this is my test file. If you're familiar with Truffle, um, they make this very nice uh, test framework for you to use. and. Basically, we have these transactions we're calling against a smart contract, uh, which we won't need to look at for any reason, um, but we're executing this transaction, um, so on and so forth. So if you wanna look at how much gas is being used and how much gas, like how much ether is actually being spent on gas or Matic or AVAX, depending on which chain you're on or whatever, um, all you have to do is, first of all, set the return value from a transaction equal to something like this, like TX. And then we can do a couple of things. So we can console.log, and then we can say something like gas used, and then we'll say uh, TX.receipt.gas uh, used, okay? And we're just gonna run the tests really quick. Uh, let me, um, instead of cycling back up, let me just do truffle test here. And we should see some number. So if you're not familiar with the difference between gas used and the actual amount of ETH that's been spent, you can think about like, this gas used is like the number of gallons of gas that it requires to drive down the street. So in theory, if you drive down the same street over and over and over again at about the same speed without doing anything too crazy in your car, you should use pretty much the same amount of gas each time. So that's how it works on Ethereum. If you execute the same transaction over and over and over again, it's going to use the same amount of gas. Um, the difference and so think of it like a, a an entity like a quantity of an entity like actual gas is probably the best way to understand it um, and the actual amount of ETH that you spend is the amount of gas used times the price that you spend per gas so think of it like this if you got to buy 10 gallons of gas to get it on the street you first of all you live on a very long street um, or you drive a really horrible car uh, but if you have to drive and you spend, you got to get 10 gallons of gas and gas is $4 a gallon, you're going to spend $40. So that's ultimately the fee that you're going to pay. So if we wanted to find out roughly how much gas or how much ETH we would spend in order to mint an NFT, for example, we can copy our gas used. We can head over to Etherscan Gas Tracker to see what the current uh, prices are. If I, I'm just putting this number here so we have it handy and then we can go to our ETH unit converter and pull this up and we got 127 right now so let's do this in ether so that it's in a number we're uh, familiar with actually it should be here 127 guay because gas in metamask is always in guay so let's copy this decimal and let's over here in Google we'll multiply this together and so that's saying that it's going to cost us about 0 0.2 eth which eth is what today coin market cap says 2400 dollars so times 2400 should give you about 47 dollars uh to mint this nft right now in just gas so that's pretty much it um now you know how to estimate roughly how much gas you're gonna spend um, whenever you're building out some Web3 JS stuff and Solidity smart contracts and so on. So hopefully this was helpful. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, ask questions. We try to get back to as many people as we can and also subscribe to the channel uh, if you wanna see more stuff like this and I'll talk to you later.